Lionel gets Barcelona on the score sheet, 1-0. This is going to be episode five of the What If Neymar Never Left Barcelona series. Barcelona off to a great start here against Madrid. Benzema! We could potentially have a Champions League final, El Clasico. That would be mouth-watering to watch. Ronaldo. Si another side by to Stagen. Another side by to Stagen. He's beat it. He's currently one of the best keepers in La Liga this season. Suarez. Good save by Navas. Neymar. Iniesta. Rakitic. Varane. Benzema. Penalty! Umtini's got a yellow card! For say our seven. Ballon d'Or. On EA Sports, a chance to see the La Liga fixture coming up for Real Madrid. They'll be facing Athletic Bilbao. Well, when you look at the matches. In the between them, it doesn't usually disappoint, and I don't think this one will either. Oh no! Where, where, where's Ronaldo? Where is he tonight? He's back. We found him. So one one. He's so eating his way through a, through a goal. Marcelo. Curry Benzema almost don't gets the second. Makes it 2 2. He almost became the scoring Kareem. So Stegen got the own goal. Almost. Alves! Alba! He's got to play it back to the goalkeeper. Oh, the 
Another side by to Steigen. Goalkeeper is there for him and he's played it to it. It's a real error by the keeper. Uh, to Stagans being yellow carded. Well, that is a, a yellow card at least, and that's what he's going to get. It's not a red. Goal! Sega seven. Expecting that one to find the back of the net. What a glorious opportunity wasted. He led back. And look where it's gone. Well, I think we're talking about a loss of nerve as much as anything else. Never looked confident running up to the ball. Oh no! What are you doing? Where are you, CR7? Where's your battle? Benzema. Benzema. Two two. Kareem has scored for Real Madrid. Two two. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. A lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was. Suarez. PK. Alves. Neymar! Neymar! To put Barcelona back in front, yes he does! Neymar! Neymar's made it three! With a goal in the 42nd minute! Sub him off! It's Real Madrid. Sub Ronaldo off! Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's gone missing tonight! Here they are, Real on the attack again. I mean, it's, it's very bad at pens right now. And he's not very good at pens right now. Free, free! And he's sewed it! Sewed for out of the front of this crowd! Free hole! I doubt in his career he's ever had a more straightforward chance to score. And his eyes lit up and a new bulge. <coughs> Look at Zinedine Zidane, he's pretty, he's pretty happy right now. He's pretty much calm again. What, a, what an entertaining old classico game this is turning out to be. Free, free. First half, Alan. Well, really good late equalising goal, and that might just change an attacking run from Suarez. I think he might have changed the dynamic of this game, Valencia and Vir Crowd settling back down here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Turnover by Ronaldo. Let's pause for a moment to let in Alan McAnally here with some goal news. It's a goal for Valencia. 47 minutes played. 1-1. Cheers, Alan. Valencia tied the game against Villarreal. Tony Cruz. That's a foul. He's been called for the foul. Tony Cruz. defending there. Got the opposition backpedaling a little bit. Benzema. Benzema. Almost! It's a good save by to Stegen at the end. Ronaldo 4 3. Real hit the front. Here in El Clasico.
Suarez. Bass are dominating the ball here. Suarez, 4-4! Four, four. This is what this is going to be one of the. What an El Clasico this is turning out to be. Four four. Marcelo. Benzema. Modric. Kroos. Gareth Bale. This looks promising. Change of direction. The last king. Does he want to shoot? Well, the crowd wants him to shoot. Benzema. Ronaldo. 5-4. Goal. Goal. 5-4 in El Clasico. Hang on, we're not going to have that substitute yet. Here, and it's a perfect day for the Flyers. Ronaldo, 5 4. This is what. This could be. This could be one of the best El Clasico games of all time. Messi! Lionel Messi! Neymar, 5-5! Five, five. Oh, this is end to end stuff, isn't it? I hope we're in for a bit more of the same. 5-5! Five, five. Look at this game, 5-5 five, five in El Clasico. And Barcelona have put the ball in the net. Well, you've got to ask questions of the defence because they just didn't follow in there. Two teams brilliantly matched in this contest. It's level again. Suarez, Messi. Can he make it six? Five. Break maybe from Barcelona. Messi. Six, five. This is gonna be this is be the one of the best El Clasico games of all time. Well he's doubled up here with his second goal and he took it in excellent style just like the first one. Messi's not done yet. Ronaldo loads Benzema. Switch on the attacking power in this situation. Marco Asensio. Play one on one. He's taking a risk there. So close to his goal. Cutting on the substitute. Fantastic goal. Well, how long has it been on? One or two minutes. I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Well, it was a gift. Strikers dream about moments like this. Attack what a substitution from Zidane. Literally an open goal. He wasn't going to miss it. Well, I wonder where we go from here now that we're level again in the game. Anything can happen. Barcelona, what about the next game, Alan? Well, they're playing Celta de Vigo in the next match in La Liga. I think they'll find it pretty easy in this one. He can put them in front. Very brave goalkeeper. Messi, safe. Like what a save by Navas. Three goals. And that's the third, the hat trick. And he's about to go on the bench. So he's done his done his duty tonight. It's a day he'll never forget. Three, it's seven six. It's seven six in El Clasico. Well, a wonderful achievement. To get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this, 
It's a special day. It certainly is for a special player too. A player that uh, is the clinical sort and has shown us that today. Real Madrid are losing at the moment. PK. Benzema! Oh my way, he's leveled it. He's leveled it again for Real Madrid. You don't want to miss this El Clasico game. Well, let's take another look at the goal. John Zanis is going to be coming on as a substitute. Making his debut in an El Clasico. Cresto Gonzalez. Comes on for Benzema. Oh, that could be a classical hero. On his La Liga debut. Suarez! Lovely football, typical Barcelona. To level it up now. Eight, eight. Eight hole. A wonderful goal. It's and it's low Lowy gets a hat trick. He's really been on form. Well, some players might switch off if they've scored a goal, even two goals in the game, but he's greedy for more in the best way, I mean, and he's got a hat trick. Yeah, he's been a danger from the start. He's worked right. Mars Cello. CR7. Cristiano Ronaldo. Another one. Nine eight. It's late, but it's great for Real Madrid. Just when you're looking for somebody to pop on to produce something special, they find that man. Ronaldo's got four. He's got four in El Clasico. Barcelona are behind. Nine eight. Neymar! And the attacking now coming from Barcelona. To Andre Gomez. He's looking for the cross. A Real on it. Oh, it's the post. Suarez almost got his fourth. Well, that's gone back to the goalkeeper. Keeper being close. The equaliser here. Neymar! 9-9! Nine, nine. It's a wonderful hat trick. Well, a wonderful achievement to get three goals in a team like this against opposition like this. It's a special day. It certainly is for a special player too. Casemiro, Cruyff, Esco, Cristo Gonzalez, Cristiano Ronaldo. As far as added time is concerned, it's four. Yeah, and there's a sense of anticipation within this ground. They think they've got a, a decent enough chance now to do the necessary. We go back to the goalkeeper here in Dutch. Should be the winner. Well, they've won the game. Oh, my word! This goal, so late in the game. Cristo Costas. <laughs> Did he go to Cristiano Ronaldo's house for dinner? Easy for him. Well, and he chicken the rice with him. 10 9 Real Madrid. Perhaps the easiest goal he's ever scored in his career. He's got a double in our Classico. I'm done on his little Ego day. Boo! Bump his ratings up to at least an 80 in FIFA 19. Well, a very exciting climax to an exciting game. This could be the decider. Right, I might win this match. This might be the best out. They've won. 
Cresto Gonzalez. Real Madrid are going to be here in his name in years to come. As he scored the winner against Barcelona. The title race is back on. Ray Al back in the title race. Didn't really start the game too well, and it was hard to pick it up from them. Real fans, they're going to be hearing about Cresto for many, many years to come. Now he, and now he was the hero in the El Clasico. La Liga. Deportivo Alavés three. Alagar. One. Deportivo La Coruña two, Celta Vigo two, Real Madrid ten, Barcelona nine, Real Sociedad nil, Sevilla two, Valencia one, Villarreal one. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Espanyol with 35 points. In second, Barcelona with 31 points. In third, Real Betis with 31 points. In fourth, Atletico Madrid with 31 points. In fifth, Real Madrid with 30 points. In sixth, Villarreal with 28 points. In seventh, Girona with 26 points. In eighth, Valencia with 26 points. Bottom of the table, Malaga with 10 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Getafe with 15 points. Third bottom rising up the table are Levante with 15 points. Fourth bottom, Celta Vigo with 17 points. Fifth bottom moving down are Ibar with 17 points. Next up, the Barcelona itself of Ego. I want to give him one year a run. So he'll see to see how he will go as a backup to MSN. Come on, boys! You can do it! You can do this! You've lost ten nine in El Clasico. 3-1. Suarez, Alves and Alba got on the score sheet. La Liga. Barcelona 3, Celta de Vigo 1. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Espanyol with 35 points. In second, Barcelona with 34 points. In third, climbing the table are Real Madrid with 33 points. In fourth and falling are Real Betis with 31 points. In fifth, moving down are Atletico Madrid with 31 points. In sixth, Villarreal with 28 points. In seventh, Girona with 26 points. In eighth, Valencia with 26 points. Bottom of the table, Malaga with 10 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Getafe with 15 points. Third bottom, Levante with 15 points. Fourth bottom, Celta Vigo with 17 points. Fifth bottom, Ibar with 17 points. As we are about to end 2017 and start 2018, Arturo Vidal will officially join Barcelona along with Robin heading into the January transfer window.
Let's see if Cesc Fabregas could come back to Barcelona. From from his four year stint at Chelsea to see if he could actually win a, get a Champions League into his added to his collection. Z struck he he could not win one when he was at he got in the final when he was at Arsenal when they lost to Barcelona. The best effort at Chelsea his best effort as a Chelsea player in the Champions League was around a sixteen exit at the hands of at the hands of PSG two times in a row. He made a semi his best finish at Barca in the Champions League was a semi-final appearance when they lost to Bayern Munich 7-0. And Thank you. Thanks. Let's see how 2007... Happy New Year. 2018. The second half of the season is officially here. Rafinha's left for Chelsea on line. Ruben and Arturo Vidal's joining Barcelona. Unfortunately for Altala, he's been in, got injured at training. This might be the end of Paulinho at Barcelona. And probably the end of Iniesta. As we dial join. With Arthur Overdale joining from Bayern Munich. Well, Thomas Muller's not going to be very happy. He's gone from one FCB to another FCB. Let's go to England. Manchester City topped the league with 53 points. Chelsea second on 51 points. <clears throat> Liverpool on 42 points. Arsenal on 40. Man United and Spurs are in the Europa League places. Well, Swansea... St well, Swansea and Stoke are moving down the table. They got relegated in real life that year. That's for France. PSG are top of the league. They took a while to catch up. As for Germany, Bayern Munich are top still. As for Italy, Inter Milan top Serie A. With, uh, with AC Milan second, Roma third, and the old lady in fourth. We got the round of 16 Copa del Rey game against Malaga to look forward to. This may be the end of might be the end of Chelsea's title push. Says that could help Pep Guardiola get his first Premier League as a mess success as a Man City manager. We how will Barcelona kick off 2018? Messi gets on the score sheet to start 2018. Thanks. Messi won. Messi makes it one against Malaga. Full time, it's one nil. Barcelona one. Celta Vigo nil. Athletic Bilbao nil. Real Madrid won four nil against Real Betis.
Atletico 1-2-0 against Espanyol. Girona 1-2-1 against Osasuna. Ibar lose 2-0 to Sociedad. Lugo draw 1-1 with Getafe. Bill Bell draw 0-0 with Celta, while Raul Valetano lose 3-1 to Valencia in the first leg. The only deal that's happened so far was Fonteska. Cesc Fabregas has accepted a five-month contract to join Barcelona as he wants to finish his career as a Champions League winner. This Barcelona have actually improved their sentiment spine over the course of the seat over the course of the season. It looks like Cristiano Ronaldo's won the Ballon d'Or for 2017. Fabregas here will not be eligible to play Champions League for Barcelona because he had just played Champions League for Chelsea. Barca win 4-1 against against poor old Malaga in the Copa del Rey, winning 5-1 on aggregate. Spanish Cup, Barcelona 4, Malaga 1, Girona 3, Osasuna 0, Espanyol 1, Atletico Madrid 2, Real Sociedad 2, Ibar 0. Just got our matches shed rescheduled against Sociedad and Lavarte. So we got the Copa del Rey quarter final against Real Madrid. Oh boy, this is a Copa del Rey El Clasico. Valverde wasn't happy about the previous fixture. After Christoph Gonzalez won the game of his own boots. He was the late he was the late hero against Real Madrid. Met for Real Madrid against Barcelona. With some improvements, improvements in the side. Now they've got Vidal from Bayern Munich and Fabregas coming in for a few months. Coming in from Chelsea. It's nil-nil, nil classic. Hello, Copa del Rey. Spanish Cup, quarter-final, first leg. Barcelona, nil. Real Madrid, nil. Valencia, two. Athletic Madrid. Yeah. He's doing it now in the Europa League spot. 
probably because we got a few games in hand. Because we got some games in hand, which is the reason. So we got Raul Batis on the 20th of January. 20 to for 2018. Messi gets on the board to make it 1 0. Full time, it's 3 1. La Liga. Real Betis 1. Barcelona 3. Real Madrid 3. Deportivo La Coruña 1. Real Sociedad 2. Celta de Vigo 1. Villa Real 4. Levante 1. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain Espanyol with 39 points. In second, Atletico Madrid with 37 points. In third, rising up the table are Real Madrid with 37 points. But only behind on goal difference. In fourth, climbing the table are Barcelona with 37 points. With a game in hand on the team above. In fifth and falling are Real Betis with 35 points. In sixth, rising up the table are Villa Real with 31 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In seventh, moving down are Valencia with 30 points. In eighth, climbing the table are Deportivo Alves with 28 points. Bottom of the table, Getafe with 15 points, but only behind on goal difference. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Malaga with 15 points. Third bottom, Levante with 16 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Celta Vigo with 19 points. Thank you for the information, Mike. Now let's get on with the Copa del Rey quarterfinal. Second leg. Let's see how this match fares out. Well, turns out Christoph Gonzalez has been dropped from the team due to the fact that they just saw, they have just got Mandzukic from Inter Milan. They're from Juventus. Real go through to the Copa del Rey semi-final. Spanish Cup quarter-final second leg. Atletico Madrid nil. Valencia nil. Real Madrid 2, Barcelona 1. Well, with our Copa del Rey, with our Copa del Rey season over, we can now focus on the league. Since, we're, since Real knocked us out of the Spanish Cup. So we got the extra 60,000 euros, 60,000 euros. We'll be facing Saucier down on the 17th of February. Next up, it's Deportivo Alaves for the Barcelona, for the Barca boys. Let's see how this game plays out. 4-0. Sergio Busquets is out injured. La Liga. Barcelona 4 Deportivo Alaves nil. Celta de Vigo one. Real Betis three. Deportivo La Coruña one. Levante one. Valencia two. Real Madrid one. Villa Real nil. Real Sociedad one. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table, we have new leaders in Barcelona with 40 points, with a game in hand on the team below. In second, the former leaders, Espanyol, with 39 points. 
In third, rising up the table, are Real Betis with 38 points. In fourth, moving down, are Atletico Madrid with 37 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth and falling are Real Madrid with 37 points, but only behind on goal difference. In sixth, climbing the table are Valencia with 33 points. In seventh, moving down are Villarreal with 31 points. In eighth, Athletic Bilbao with 30 points. Bottom of the table, Getafe with 15 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Malaga with 16 points. Third bottom, rising up the table, are Levante with 17 points. Fifth bottom, Celta Vigo with 19 points. We've only got two days to go to the end of January before we approach the deadline. Let's see how the table will fare. Said he want PK. That was rejected. Let's look at the table after ja after January 31 in England. Manchester City at top of the league with 60 points on goal diff up on goal difference against Chelsea. Arsenal's on, f on third with 47. <coughs> well, Spurs move up to fourth in the league with Liverpool down in f down on the dumps in fifth. <coughs> they may end up having to play in the Europa League. Manchester United is sixth in the league with Huddersfield, Brighton, and Bo Brighton and Bournemouth occupying the relegation <laughs> places. PSG top the league with four points ahead of Monaco. Bayern lead 12 points in front of Dortmund in Germany. As for Italy, we still got into Milan. Top of top of the Serie A. And that will wrap up. That will wrap up the fifth, e the fifth episode of What If Neymar Never Left Barcelona.